Floss Tube? Are you out there? Hello? Hello? You ever feel a little overwhelmed? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm really getting overwhelmed. Maybe it's because it's my one year Floss Tube anniversary! Yay! I'm so excited. Look at all this stuff. You got stuff? I got stuff. I got lots and lots and lots of stuff. Well, I'm going to give you all a good little sneak peek at all of my goodies. It's been a month since I've been with you, right? I mean, a month. Where has the time gone, people? Where has it gone? Oh, my goodness. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. It is March 21st, 2019. Team. Woo! I have made it a full year on floss tube. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Floss tube number 37. 37. 37. I am just excited. I'm so excited. A little overwhelmed. So uh we'll try to clean up some of this while I talk because I don't have time to waste time. Um first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day. Come and gone. Come and went. And after St. Patrick's Day, what do we got next, y'all? We're getting ready. It's Easter. Yay! I can't wait. I hope I have another floss tube done before Easter. This will be going on my school bus. Maybe I'll pop a picture in for you. So on my next floss tube. But anyway, Easter time, right? One other thing I wanted to tell you right quick. I am not going to stay Victoria's Creative Crafts anymore. I have converted everything over to Victoria's Crafty Room because I got all the crafts. I got all the stuff. Got all kinds of stuff to do. I mean, ain't no shame in my game. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, I appreciate you following me. Thank you for... Uh, liking and subscribing my videos. If you're new here, thank you for jumping on this crazy floss tube crafty frame train world that I c c am consist of. So anyway, glad you uh, come aboard with me. Um, I got lots of stuff to show, to talk about, to tell. First off, give me a little cup of cup of. Look at that. Thank you. I think I've showed him before. I'm not for sure. I need to name him something. I keep him and any of my other drinks on my handy dandy quilted um, mug rug. How you like that? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, made that. Tried to make it prettier, but it was the first one I ever made, so I did what I could do, right? Now... I am going to turn that phone on silent because that man's already been texting this morning. Oh, my computer just popped up. Floss tube anniversary. Floss tube anniversary. I'm so excited. I never thought I'd make it this far. I really didn't. My hair's washed my hair this morning. It's kind of, you know, going, doing its own thing and all that good stuff. I don't even, I'm going to look right quick while I'm live to see how many subscribers I have. I know I have a lot of subscribers. I'm so excited. Oh, uh, go to my channel. My channel. Woo! 722. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Happy, happy, happy. Welcome to Georgia. I'll insert some pictures of our wonderful spring. I think today... Yes, today is the first day of spring. It actually came in full, it came in the 20th, around 6 o'clock. I believe that's what the lunar eclipse and stars and all that stuff, I believe that's what the thing is. So, uh, okay, here we go. Gosh, I don't know where to start. I'm going to start in this big old bag right here. This is Victoria's bag right here. Y'all see this? Oh, I got to turn it around this way. Look at this. Got my name monogrammed on it. Look at that. It's, a, it's one of that big old Marshall's shopping bag. Monogram anything, right? 
monogram anything. This bag is huge. Y'all know what this bag Y'all know what this bag is? This is fully finished objects. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Curtsy. Yay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm telling you, I got so much. It's unreal. I'm gonna try to keep a count on too. I'm gonna mark them off as I go. First thing I got, and, and the location that I'm going to put it is why it may not look fully finished to you because I'm going to put it on the corner of my bookcase. I got a bookcase over here. It's a three-shelf bookcase that I got from Walmart. Kind of like this um, Kia box deal. This is a Walmart double box thing. I'm going to put it to the outside of that, and then you can see it, so... First finish, Little House Needleworks. I've got it mounted. It's on some, uh, it's not It's not sticky board. It's like a regular mat board. It is fully finished. And I believe Miss Jackie sent the 2019 charms. So I put the 2019 charm on mine. I put some grayish colored material around another piece of sticky board. And then matted it all together and glued it all together. And ta-da! So like I said, I'm going to put this on. I have one of these on the other side of the door that's black. And I'm going to mount this on that. And then when I do the April and spring and all that good stuff, it will match. Yay! I'm going to have to slide this over. This one's kind of hard. I have to keep it flat for now because I don't have... Um, you can't just lay that anywhere. You don't want to mess it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't show my... It's, yeah. That one. Okay. And I just realized I got something somewhere else, and I don't know where I put it. I will find it. I'm sorry y'all haven't looked at the back of my head. I got to find it because it's finished, too. Okay, I'm going to have to, I got this propped up on my ironing board so I can see it. There's so much in here. So much. So much. All right, come on. Where's it? There we go. Now, what I got here is a bag full of goodies. Giddy, giddy, goodies. Giddy, giddy, goodies. Oh, boy. Okay. Y'all remember that magnetic board I had that I couldn't seem to figure out what to do? I bought it from uh, from the Goodwill. Goodwill. Somebody said cover it with material instead of painting it, and they were right. I covered that thing with some material. Look at that. I got my magnets, all, my needle minders on it. This one's kind of sketchy. Some of the magnets are stronger than others. And these are the backs of some of these, so I'll use them. I covered that thing up with some hot glue. Me and hot glue had a fight. And then I put, I folded the material over, and then I put some rick rack on it. Like I said, me and that hot glue, we had a fight. So, uh, yeah, it burned me, and I burned it. You know what I'm saying? I am so excited for this. Now I can proudly hang this in my room. Yay! All right, that is fully finished number two. Mark this off. All right, got it. Now, I got a couple other things. I got some things behind me that I kind of finished, but anyway. Back in the day, back in the heyday, I framed this the other day. And it turned out gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This was one of my first um, cross stitch charts. I don't have the chart. I actually gave the chart away. It was a kit from uh, Hobby Lobby. And um, yay, marking off my thing. There we go. And, and it turned out wonderful. It turned out wonderful. My lighthouse. The mat that came, that's here, came with it, so I matted it. I'll keep it in so I can see what I'm showing. Look at that. Sorry for the reflection. Look at that backyard. Ooh, wait, you see the back, you see my backyard. <laughs> anyway, 
Like I said, this was a kit, and I finished this in 2018, but I fully finished it this last month. I've been on a monthly scurry, finishing, frenzy, craziness, right? Just crazy. All that crazy, cray cray. I'm trying to get some of my older one. This is another older finish that I had. I've had this one finished for a long time. And I'm not real, real happy with it, so I have a feeling it'll probably change. But I found a frame for this one. And I found some scrapbook paper that looked like sand. And I put this in this. Uh, this is, uh, I think it was Country Cottage. I don't have, yeah, Country Cottage Needlework. Beach House was the name of it. I don't have the chart on this one because I gave this chart away as well. When I got through with it, I hosted it for a giveaway and got rid of it. So, yay, yay, yay. Okay. That is finish number one, two, three. Oh, now I don't know why I couldn't find it because it was in that one. Okay. I don't have the chart in here. Yes, I do. I have the chart. Kathy Haberman, hands on design. Been there, done that. A couple of months. Show this chart. Yeah, show the chart. Kathy Haberman. I finished December and I finished January. Uh fully finished February. Yay! Fully finished. Fully finished. And because February has passed, I fully finished March. Look at that. 32 count uh linen. Picture this plus linen. I forgot what color it was. I'll find it and link it below. I like it. Me and this one had a fight. I won. Ask uh, my friend Wendy. She knows all about it. We had a fight. She had a fight with hers too. I don't know why. We had a fight with it. I think it's because we noticed that the colors had changed. Before our... After the chart was printed, because the chart shows the different colors. And the numbers that it's called for is not what I actually stitched mine in. Where's March? March. You see them, uh, what do you call them? Where are we at? Shamrocks right here. The little shamrocks over here. Kathy's shamrocks are a little darker green. And the call for color was a light green. I believe that's right. So, uh, yeah. I started stitching three threads right here because I wanted the skirt and the shoes and all this, the leprechaun to be thick and my letters. And then I went to two strands on the rest of it. Two over two. Now, I'm going to tell you, these lazy daisy stitching stuff right here, mm -mm. not an embroiderer. No, 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 no. I got them finished, though. So. They okay. And I don't know why this is blue and white. That's that's in there. I have no idea why. It's on the chart. It's charted that way. I did as much as I could chart-wise and copying the chart. So, anyway. Um, okay, that's fe one, two, three. That's February 4 and 5 March. 5. Hold on, hold on now. Don't go nowhere. This was a long time ago. I'm surprised I finished this. It's not finished in the way that it's intended. It's intended to be like a um, a bell pull type hanger thing. And for some reason, I've lost the hanger. It came in the kit, and I remember seeing it, but uh, I don't have it now. So I don't know why I happened to it. So anyway, I got one of these little wooden box frames. And I got magnets on it. It's not centered because I'm still working with it. Magnets are not good magnets. I need to get some heavy magnets. But this is Apple a Day kit. And I don't have a kit in here either. I like this. I didn't like all that Apple stuff. Mm. I think there was about five different color reds in that. Mm -mm. And then I had to freehand an Apple a Day. Mm-mm, mm-mm, didn't like that either. That's that embroidery stuff. No, don't like that stuff. Just tell me where you want me to stitch it. And then I had to do the buttons. The buttons came in the little kit. 
I matted it on some mat board and found some real cute little red fringy stuff. Not much, just to cover up the seam. And then I matted the uh, homespun red on the back of some um, mat board. It stuck it all together. It's on there with magnets, and I'm ashamed to show you what I got it stuck on with, so we're not going to go there. <laughs> They're not right. I got to go to Hobby uh, Home Depot and get me some of them washers and and fully finish this uh, a lot better. And I think, and the reason why I hadn't done it, because I think I may stain this. It's just the, um, it's just raw wood. Got this at um, Michael's. I think they were $2.99, $3.99 at Michael's. So, yeah, got to finish that. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Seven. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. I finished this, and I didn't know how to do a fully finished thing. So I played and played and played. Well, I figured it out. Look at that. It was a snowflake. It was a little free chart I saw on um, Pinterest. I think I was working on something bigger. And, and I and I, and I needed a break. You know, you just got to get a little small something something in there to get you a little break. I I did me some twisty of some um, threads around the edge of it, and then I put the um, it was some silver like needle. I don't know what you call that stuff. It was stiff. It's not something that you sew with. I can guarantee you that. Just put a little zipper pull hook on it. Covered it in the back with some a um, little bit of puffy material right here in the back. And I did hand stitch that little thing all the way around. And I had to twist it as I stitched it. Wasn't happy with that. I learned how to do some finishing things. So that's the other thing. Um, I don't know if this would be a scissor fob. A key fob. Hanging on the rear view mirror fob. Hanging in your room. I don't know. I haven't decided on how I want to do it. I may, I may give it away because I'm, I'm proud of it. I like it. I didn't sign my initials on it or anything like that because it just looks too, I don't know. It just, I don't think it would look right if I signed it. So, so anyway. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. I forgot. That country stitch around Robin. Let me show you a video of that. I'll put that right here. Okay. And, of course, you're going to get the glare from the TV and the front window and all this good stuff. Let me see. All right. Let me see if I can turn. No. Woo, that made it too dark, didn't it? Okay. I'm going to do the best I can here. This is my country stitchers round Robin. I have it framed. Found a frame at um, Michael's, and I matted it myself, and it turned out awesome. All right, I'll get close the best I can without, you know, obviously you're going to see the phone. I don't know how to change it in the glare. These were from three other ladies here in Georgia. Thanks to Liz and Deb for hooking me up with them. This is Dina. Half stitch, cross stitch. And this is Caroline. She lo lives up in Marietta. And this is Kim. She doesn't do floss tubes, but she does monogramming. And I will link her business logo below. And then this one was mine. I'm sorry you can't see it. See, if I turn it that way, you get a good glare. And in the center of mine, I don't know if it's good. there we go. I chose to do my center like that. So anyway, this is my whew, framed piece. It's gorgeous. I love it. My husband helped me frame it. And it turned out wonderful. So, anyway, thanks for looking. Woo. That was my biggest, biggest thing. I'm proud of that. I'm really excited for that. My hubby helped me help me um, pick that out. He went shopping with me. He helped me pick all that stuff out, and 
he picked the frame. He liked the frame. So I bought the frame. So, yes, I was very, very excited with that. Liz and Deb, Country Stitchers, thank you so much for putting that uh, round robin together. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Me and my Georgia friends, we all got to meet and have dinner and have, have lunch one day. And, and it was great. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. So, I will definitely try to get in on the – sorry for shaking – I will definitely try to get in on another one of those round robins if they decide to host another one again. It was awesome. I really like that. Um, Beach House, I got that. Okay. This one is a finish, but it's a little crafty thing, so I'll show that last. This one is a fully finished. I bought this, you know how, like I said, you need a little something, something small, right? I bought this little kit at Joann's. Came with the thread, the needle, the wood. It came with everything. And no, it was not $9.99. It was on sale. And I got it for $4.99. I thought well, $4.99. Pretty good. Started this uh, this past Saturday. And I finished it last night. Look. Ain't he cute. Jeez. I may actually hang that on my rearview mirror in my car. Uh, the back's all jacked up. I guess I'll have to cover it with something. I don't know. How do you... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess I'll have to cover that with something. Make it pretty. So that is my little bumblebee. Uh, bumblebee, honeybee. I don't know what you want to call that. Uh, Joanne's bee. Um, it doesn't. It didn't give you any steps to... It just said easy, easy to follow instructions. And it has its own... Uh, it had its own project bag. Look at that. Just it's the best project bag in the world right here, isn't it? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands-on design February. Ten. Now, they are behind me, and I guess I need to get it. See that basket right there? Lady at my church, she gave me a basket full of thread. There was wooden spools. There was regular spools. So I contemplated on what do I do with this, right? Cold please. Well, this is what you do with it, ladies. I'm a mason jar collector. I dehydrate food. I don't have a freeze dryer. I just dehydrate it. So I dehydrate food. I put them little spools in a jar. So it's a finish. And then I have a big mason jar. Look at that. And these are all the threads that came from her. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you, Miss Coffee. I appreciate that. She passed her stash on to me. She also gave me some, um, what do you call it? Material? Duh. Gotta have that material, right? Hold, please. Mmm. Mmm. So, I was super excited to get those. Especially when, like I said, I dug through that basket and found one, two, three, four, five. Six wooden spools. And I'm going to put them in a, probably a little smaller jar than that. And then I cleaned up the basket. Cleaned it all up. Put it in the dishwasher. And then I took it back to her church. She said, oh, I don't want that, honey. You keep it. And I'm like, well, I don't need it. I've got plenty of containers and stuff, right? She said, no, no. She said, I don't need it. Just just keep it. Just, just take it on with you. And I was like, okay, thank you. So I brought it on with me. So that's. Would you say that's a finish or not? It's a fully finished. I plan on, I, I, I don't plan on using those threads, but you know, if I have to, I guess I will. Okay. Country cottage needlework. Spring birds. This was sweet, sweet, sweet. Let me show you what I did with this. I thought about it and thought about it. I had to get some stuff to make. I got several little things I got to make. And this was a kit. No, it wasn't a kit. I'm sorry. I kitted it up. I found me some, uh, I believe it was 18 count Ada blue. Blue Ada. 
and I and birds and flowers and stuff. And I made me two pillows. Two mini pillows. Loved it. Look at that. Cross stitch that thing right up. It's cross stitch so pretty. And those colors just popped off that blue. It just They just jumped off. They said, oh, look at me, look at me. Had a hard time trying to do the back. Sewed it all together and cut a hole in the back. And turned it right side out and stuffed it and all that. And then I put the little rick rack around the edge when I sewed it. Then the first one I did, wasn't happy with it, but I'm going to have to leave it because I don't want to tear it up. I stitched it. And I put my initials on it. Made by VM 2019. And I stitched it on a piece of that. And then I pulled some material and did a little fuzzy, you know, trim. I don't know how y'all put these things on the pillow. I don't know how you did it. But I used some of that um, Aline's fabric glue. And it jacked up, wrinkled up, hard as a rock. I'm guessing I used too much. I don't know. But it's got a, it's got a, it is what it is now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. So I contemplated how you do this, how you do this, how you do this. So anyway, I did a little better on this one. Same thing. Made a little design. I fringed it out. I pulled out a lot of them threads, fringed it. And I did put some more uh, fabric glue. It's hard, but it's not. It's janked up. So look at that. Is that cute? love these so sweet 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 and like i said i just pulled something off of the chart i do intend to stitch the whole chart though because i liked it i like the colors i like the birds i like the bird houses it's so sweet I, I like it i really do i really enjoyed that so yes that's another finish now how many do i have one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But wait. Remember that board? That wooden piece of board? Got me another one. Got two. I painted this one, y'all. I painted it. Hubby worked with me, and I got some things I'm going to put on it. This ain't the things I'm going to keep on because I'm going to hang it up. But when I do hang it up, look. Ta-da. Ta-da. That's me. This is March. It's a little thing that came in a kit from a magazine. Yeah, I'm a Yeti girl. I got a Yeti cup and um, a cooler in my car. I keep a Yeti cooler in my car. You know, when you go grocery shopping, you got to have it, right? Oh, and this is Kim. This is her business card. She was on my uh, round robin team. So, yeah, I took these binder clips and screwed them things on there after I painted it a couple times. Finish. Fully finished number 13. So, it was like a craft project, right? It didn't have to be, it didn't have to all be scrapbook right here. I mean, scrapbook cross stitch right here. Well, it could be scrapbook too because I use scrapbook. Okay, 13. I got another one wooden stuff I'm working on, but it's not fully finished yet because I ain't putting nothing on it. Yay me. 14 Yay. items that I started and finished. Last month. I did all this last month. I, fin I fully finished. I didn't stitch them all last month. I fully finished them last month. That's what we do, right? Pat that back. Pat that back. Okay. Um, happy mail. Happy mail. Okay. My happy mail. I'm not even going to take it out. I think it was Glitter House number five. Y'all got these? I hadn't started mine, obviously. I need to get to getting, don't I? Need to get to getting to getting on this. I got my fabric in here. My fabric is. Got this from Beach Cottage. Uh, stitchers, raw silver linen, 
Raw silver linen, 32 count. It's for Glitter Village. You got it marked. Look at that. And it's not going to show up because it's it's glittery. And, you know, it's, uh, it's floss too. Yeah, it ain't gonna show up. It is just, it, it's sparkly though. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put my village on this. I'm gonna put them all in one piece. Yay! That'll be a a flip. Holly and Anita calls it a flip. Got a flip future future whip. See, I had not started yet, so that'll be a future whip. That'll be a flip. A flip. Okay. My other ma'am, my sweetie's pie from Iowa. I love you, Sheila. You are so sweet. You are so sweet to me. You are just too kind. Miss Sheila, she, she stitches so much. She stitches it so fast. She's got some gorgeous stuff. Y'all need to go find her on uh, Instagram. Sheila Castle. She's on Instagram. That is her name, so I'm, you know, have no shame in my game of letting you know what it is. She always sends me some cute little Georgia sticker stuff. Always, she's. I got. I think I got. I think I got a whole collection of these things now. I got a Georgia over here in my desk drawer too. I didn't get it, but anyway, she sent me that. She sent me some Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. Cheryl, look. I got some Victorian Motto. Look at that. Mmm. It's so pretty. It's purple. It's a light violet, really, but it's purple. I love it. Thank you, Sheila. And along with that, I got a really sweet little card. What's a bee stickers? It's a ladybug. Ladybugs. She sends hugs and hugs and love from Iowa. And she also sent me <gasps> March. Dun, da, da, and April. We're in a club of these. We we trying to stitch all of these. And I think she's got June and June left to go. May and June. Sheila. May, June, I can't remember. She stitches so fast. I love that. April's got the, uh, if you notice, the April has the uh, violet. And I bet that's why she sent me this. Because that's where that's going to go. Look, y'all, I'm going to put that in there with it so I don't lose it. Ooh, look at that hair. I wash my hair. It's kind of wild. <sighs> it's that Georgia weather, y'all. I'm telling you. Where my little dogs is under the table. The big dog's laying down over there. So, Sheila, hearts to you, sweetheart. One day we will, our paths will cross, and we will get to meet. Trust me, we will. I don't know where, I don't know when, but we will. We'll eventually get to meet. It's like a lot of us ladies, all of us stitchers. We all get to meet at some point, right? Uh-oh. Yo, you okay under there? She don't like it when I try to clear my throat or... Or snort and sneeze and that kind of stuff. That was my happy mail. That was happy mail. New finds. I got one new find. And I'm excited. Woo, look at that. I've got to go and get this visited. Hometown quilt shop. This is in town where I moved from. Actually where I grew up. Hogansville, Georgia. Hogansville, Georgia. This lady has opened up a quilt shop. 20, 25 minutes from me. 30 minutes max. I will be there. Quite often. She don't carry cross stitch. She don't carry thread like that kind of stuff. Embroidery stuff. I did ask. Please. She said no. She's got a really cute, cute, cute little shop. She's got classes. She's been blowing out on some classes. She just opened up around the 1st of uh, February. Uh, <clears throat> uh, officially opened on February 15th. She's got that uh, fabric that... Oh, 
Christine, stitch all the thing. Likes. She's got that kind of fabric. Lord have mercy. She posted on Facebook. Anyway, if you'd like to follow her, that'd be awesome. She's Hometown Quilt Shop on Facebook. Awesome. I don't know if she's shipping anything, but um, anyway, let me know. I got a new source besides Hobby Lobby and Michaels to go get me some material. Do me some more than bags. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was my new find. And you know what? I just realized it's hanging up. I have not showed you my other. I had 15. That's right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, fully finished. I'm going to have to move you. Fully finished because, look on that wall. Look on that wall. Look at that. Super, super cute. I already got it hanging up on the wall. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Christine from Stitch All the Things gave me that. I asked her for it, and she said, sure. So she gave me that. She was gifted a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, she sent me that. She's like, man, you, you can't stitch it all. You can't do it all. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, and I don't know. Yeah. So, Christine, thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, that looks just like my little Chloe. Just like her. Just like her. So, yeah. I'm so excited for that. Oh, and, and, and the wooden letters, y'all. Y'all see them things? Got them at um Walmart. Covered them with some Mod Podge. Put some scrapbook paper on them. Painted them up and stained them up. Inked them up. Put my name up on the wall. Did cost a lot of money. It's pretty. I like it. Because I can. And I got another thing, banner thing hanging up on the wall over here. Um, The new elephant in the room. Because cause I'm not the big girl. I redid this wall right here. I put some pictures in. Try not to keep moving y'all. I put me a bread rack in here and put all my stuff. I had bookcases. Just just wasn't happening. I moved that bookcase to the bedroom. I had two bookcases, one for quilt stuff and one for something that one was on this wall over here and one was on that wall right there. And it was a nightmare. I pulled one of them bookcase things out and uh it broke. It broke. Oh. There's the other bookcases right there. That black one right there, that's where I'm going to put my Country Cottage Winter. So this is, oh, y'all getting a room tour. That's my big dog. You see him down there on the floor barely? Yeah, that's a big dog. That's all he does is lay around. Got some project stuff right here. I got to put a cross stitch on that. I already know what I'm putting on it. There's another little wall of, uh, what do you call that stuff? Scrapbook. And then I have another one over here. There's my Cricut, my sewing, my ironing. So I got all kinds of stuff in here. It's a nice little room. I love my room. I love my room. My husband says, every time I turn around, you in that room. I love my room because I like to be in here. It's big enough for me. I have piled it up with um, tables, countertop, and I got a TV over here. Um, yeah, I love my room. I hang stuff in it. I got melted crayons up there. I got a lady that gave me a sign from Italy. It's my name in um, Italian. It was written on a subway wall. It's Victopia. Victopia. B-I-K-T-O with a hyphen under it. P-I-A. Victopia. Love it. So yes, this is my room. Happy tour. <laughs> All right. Mail done. Let me get some coffee. Mm -hmm. Purchases. Yay, Kathy! This is awesome. This is supposed to be stitched on some thirty-six count. Relic from Picture This Plus. One strand of needlepoint silk, silk over two threads of linen. That's what the model stitched on. Well, probably not my model. This is going to be another whip. Another whip. 
not whip, whip, future whip, right? Right, Holly? Future whip. Dollar Tree? Got to have them. I needed another one for my fabric. That's 14 count. It's linen. And it's in the bottom. Let's do it from here. Ugh. Oh, it's stuffing. Like bits and pieces of uh, fiber fill stuff. Um, Got to have a container for that. I always need the Dollar Tree containers, right, people? Always. Can't live without them. Oh, this is my bag of purchases. Not that much. It's really my Can't wait for this one. People, look at that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Going to be starting this one ASAP. Came with the threads. And I posted on Instagram, but I'll say it live and publicly here. Cheryl, my friend Cheryl, Tranquil Stitches, she got to go to Nashville Market with uh, Rochelle. And um, she picked these up for me. Rochelle said, yes, I could have this. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Cheryl. So they picked these up for me, and I'm just, yay, 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 me. Ooh, I want to start them. You know, when I want to start all the things, right? Got to start all the things. I got this from my other little sweet friend, Jen, the whole stitching caboodle. She's on Facebook. She does online sales on Friday nights and sometimes Saturday nights. She's in uh, Kansas. I believe she's in Kansas. And uh, so I jump on. It's like 7 o'clock when she starts or 8 o'clock at Eastern time. And she does live pictorial things where she hosts stuff and she sells them and puts you in for an order for them and orders them up and all that good stuff. So, yes. Ah! I had to buy this. I've never seen or heard. It's called Little Dove Designs. It's a friendship sampler. Look at that. It didn't come with threads. It didn't come with anything. Um, didn't come with material. I love it. I love it. Love it. Side by side or miles apart. Good friends are always close to your heart. Little Dub Designs uh, says UK. So it's an overseas stitching patterns. Love it. I've been picking my threads. Got to get my threads in there. Got my list of threads and stuff I got to get. But yes, I can't wait to start that. This uh, sampler... It doesn't even tell you what uh, what it's stitched on. It just tells you two two threads for the regular cross stitch. That's it. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm so excited. And let me see, cause we like to go thrifting. A lot of people do. A lot of people go thrifting. That was an empty bag. Oh, back to the Dollar Tree. Have y'all ever seen these things at Dollar Tree? Look, folders. Magazine holders. Yep. Magazine holders. Magazine holder. Magazine holder. Propped up. Propped up. Propped up. Magazine holder. Magazine. Yeah. I needed some. And I was like, please. They they didn't have any at one. We have two Dollar Trees in my town. One on one side of town. And one right around the corner. And one on the other side of town. So I was like, man, I hadn't seen these in a while. So obviously, colors change. You're not going to get the same one. But I found this one. Look at that. Quit. Mm, crochet, uh, crocheted afghan. Mm, look at that one. Mm, and the blue. Love this. So yeah, I got a few of them magazines. They're books too. <clears throat> they're falling over. So I gotta, I gotta fix that. Dollar Tree. That was my Dollar Tree purchase this week. Actually, I had to go back over there and get some bubble gram. Bu bubble gram. Bubble gum. Oh, we had evacuations on my bus last week, one this, one uh, yesterday. My elementary kids evacuated yesterday, and then my middle school evacuated one day last week. So everybody was great. Everybody got uh, Rice Krispie Treats, bubble gum, and money from their school. It's money that they can spend in the stores in their school. Um, public education type spending money, spending things, so... 
to got some of that now also while I was out thrifting and shopping because I seen this on somebody else's thing uh, I believe this was uh, Amy and memory I think had this oh no maybe it was Liz and Deb anyway it's a hoop it's a hoop it's a finishing hoop when you get through cross stitching and it's got a track in here you put your material in it and then you could put this and this is like rubber you put put your material in it and this fits in here like that and then this is finished your item is finished then you cover the back and you're good to go I found these and I don't even remember how much I paid for this maybe a dollar a piece that's okay I'll take it yeah me I got hoops everywhere I got all kinds of hoops I don't I don't cross stitch or embroidery on something that big where I need that big hoop I like my little hoop I got a little red hoop and I like my cue stamp and I'm good to go with that so yay 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 then uh, and this was used so it's not real real bright well I don't know it's not bright I was gonna say it was bright and pretty this was the first knitted dish rag I got. Dish rag, dish cloth. I should say that. Dish cloth. Jean Constable sent me this. With some other goodies. Loved it. About wore it out. I love these for dish rags. I'm telling you. I've got rags for the washing dishes. I have a dishwasher, but I like to wash dishes too. Love this. I thought, Lord, I'm never going to find any more. Never going to find any more. Well, you know what? I got a green one in the kitchen. And I went and got me another one. And that's not a stain. That's the color in the that's the color in the fabric. I don't know. It's weird. Because there's another one on this side. Look at that. I bought these over $2 a piece. I can't knit. I don't know how to knit. But my friend, Wendy, knits. She knows how to make these. Wendy. I'll buy every one of them. That's what I told her. I will buy every one of them. Mmm. Smells good. Fresh out of the dishwasher. Fresh out of the washing machine, too. So, yes, I will buy these. I love these. I have three, and I'm very happy with them. Then, and I don't have my bottle, so I have to use my water bottle. I don't have my big bottle. But I bought this. Y'all remember these? You hook it around your dish detergent and you have to pull it tight you hook it around your dish detergent and then you tie it on and it looks like a little apron is that not the cutest this takes me back i think i had i think i my grandmother had one of these on her sink that some lady had made for her i'm gonna try to figure out how to make these i'm sure there's a pattern out there somewhere i'm gonna figure it out but it's a cute little cherry apron with some little material at the bottom and some rick rack is that not super cute i can't wait i'm gonna make these so i found this and i bought it because i thought it was cute super cute super cute super cute that was my finds and also when i was in that dollar tree i'll show you what i'm all into because you know you gotta Get the kids something. You got to get yourself something, too. Y'all eat these. Razzles. It's bubble gum. Don't last but five seconds. Say so it's candy, then it turns to gum. You crunch it up and keep chewing, keep chewing, and it turns to gum, and all the sugar's gone, and that's it. There's two pieces in each one. Are you kidding me? I put all them in my mouth at one time. It was okay. I'm all into this, and they smell so good. Oh, my goodness. And my husband said, I don't know why you do this. You know, that's mean. That's mean. Y'all ever had these? If you've never had cowtails, you need to go get you some cowtails. These things are awesome. Mm. I don't know, like nougat and powdered sugar, caramel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the same company that makes those things. You see that caramel with that creamy center? Who is that? Somebody's had these. Maybe Pam and Steph. Somebody had sent them some of these. And they're fantastic. They're, maybe it's a southern thing. And maybe they've never had it in the north. I don't know. But oh, there's another picture of it right there. Them things right there. Delicious. 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 This is similar to those. Except the only difference is these are long. 
Y'all got Cracker Barrels where you live? They're in a Cracker Barrel. Usually they're long sticks. Had one last night right before I went to bed. Who does that? Who eats a piece of candy before they go to bed? Me. Me. Like I said, my kids got Rice Krispie Treats and bubble gum and money and I got bubble gum and some cowtails. Okay. Glitter Village, Happy Mail, Purchases, Mason Jar, Gin, Quilton, Razzles, all in two. Whip, whip. Whip, whip. My whip, whip right now. I'm going to show you this. This is my diamond painting. I like diamond painting. Do y'all like diamond painting? If you don't like it, that's fine. If you do, that's okay too. Need to try it. It's a new hobby. We all need another new hobby. Mine is trees. You see, you can't so you can't see it if you're real close up. You can't tell what it is. So if I put you way up here, you see it glitter. All that tree's done. I can't take it off all the way up. All the way up to that little corner. See where it gets cloudy looking over there? That ain't done. All this is done. This is my second glitter painting. Love this. All this is done. All of this is done. The trunk is done. That is not done. But see it? When you get way off, it's glittery. Close up does it justice. If you're looking at it far off like that, oh, it's so pretty. I have one of these. My little Chloe's already done. I'm going to do that one. And I got a sunflower. I can't wait to start that sunflower. Mm. Mm. Can't wait to start that sunflower. Whip number one. All right. Back to hands-on design, Kathy. April's coming, y'all. Got to get that April done. April, April, April. You working on April? Oh, hold up. Don't be a hater. I'll be a hater because I'm not happy with this material, but I got to do all of them in the same stuff. Oh, look at that. There's my cloud. Happy clouds. And that green right there. That's the center. I'm a center starter. <laughs> 32 count linen. Country cottage. Uh, picture of this plus. Yeah. Not happy with that linen. That linen right there. I'm just, ugh, maybe I need a different brand of linen or something. And I'm just ugh, having a hard time with that linen. I don't know why. I know why because a lot of stuff I've stitched has been on Ada or 28. And I think that may be a lot of the reason why. So, hey, hoo hoo. Okay. I'm going to take this one out of the bag. Look at this bag. Mm 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 mm. Cheryl, you recognize that? Thank you. Thank you. Cheryl. I showed this before. This was a whip that I've been working on. La di da. It's Mary Mac. This will be my Halloween finish. I hope I get through by Halloween. At this rate, I probably will. Tuck my chart out of the way. Look, look, look. Black, black, black. Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. All dressed in black, black, black. <laughs> and I got to give them some silver buttons to go down her back. In the chart, she looks like she's looking at you. But if you know the little hand game and the play in the game and the little song, she's really not. Let's ponder on that a minute. That's my whip. I worked this one in school bus. It's one color. It's not really that hard. Once I get stitching on it, it works out pretty good. I do the, This is my bus project. I do this one on school bus. So it's moving. Except when I was, except when I bought this, um, this little bee. Yeah. Mary went to the side. She had to go to the side. What else have I got? Let me look around this room. Got that, got that. And I finished all of that over there. Got hoops and that. Made a fast journey. Just a heads up. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I know. I'm not working on that anymore. I am really, really watching what I eat because I'm pre-diabetic, so I have to watch what I eat. So, <laughs> got to do that. I'm going to insert pictures here at the end and show you what Georgia Spring looks like. Uh, you'll be amused. 
and hope you enjoyed the video for my um, Country Stitchers Round Robin. So, uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you for coming and visiting. I don't have any shout outs because uh, there's too many in the list. Like last month, I didn't even link them last month. Y'all notice that? I didn't even link nobody. That was silly. Anyway, I did what I could. I put them down. Y'all go look them up. Copy and paste. Control C, Control V. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful week. What's left of it? And I will catch up with you on the next video. Don't know when it'll be because life gets busy and I have to do my thing. All right, y'all have a wonderful week, wonderful weekend. Love you, hugs. Y'all be sweet to each other and talk to you later. Bye.